Okay, so I'm going to be demoing an integration between ServiceNow and Slack. Slack is a chat, chat tool um, that's become really popular over the last few months. It's particularly popular in operations teams and support teams because people can quickly interact with each other, and discuss issues, and share ideas. So what I wanted to do was integrate the incident management capability that's in ServiceNow with Slack. So I will kind of give you a demo and a couple of scenarios that we want to walk through. I focused on incidents because I thought it was the most obvious one to start with, but that no, by no means um, is this locked down to just incidents. You could focus on any CI, any table, and do the integration generically across anything. So the way the integration works is that it uses the outbound REST message system that's available. So we have a REST message called Slack, which integrates into the, uh, the Slack API. So I've only focused on post message for now, as that's a pretty simple scenario. Um, I've also got a Slack channel already ready to go. Um, and I've created an app in the Slack channel uh, and created authentication so that I can uh, talk to the API using a token and also created a bot called ServiceNow Bot. So if we go back to ServiceNow, then this API is available as a script include. So there's a Slack message notifier script include that can be used in any business rule. And it's quite straightforward. You can basically just say send message, give it the content of the message, and it will then construct the rest um, command in the background and talk to Slack. So I set up a business rule around the incidents uh, table because I thought that was a good one to start with. And if I go and walk to incidents, my rule says that um, any time an incident is reassigned, then send a message to the Slack channel saying who it's been reassigned to. So let's pick uh, this one and let's reassign it to Beth. Then what's now happened is that um, in Slack, if we go back to Slack, then we basically get a message to say incident and the incident number uh, and the title of the incident as well was reassigned from Beth to um, the new user. And, it's it. and the new user is a new attribute uh, on the user table for the Slack user so that they actually get mentioned, um, which means that you get a notification in your, um, in your dash if you're installing the, the Slack Windows application. So that's, that's how that works. Um, also from, from Slack, you can then you can integrate the other way. So you can query for incidents assigned to Beth Anglin, and it will call the API um, from the bot and also give you back a list of incidents. So we can see we've got one here, new employee hire, um, and you can then assign the incident to um, Fred. Ludl. David Liu, let's assign it to David Liu. So this is where you could basically, you know, you quickly get notified about a, an assignment ticket. Um, you get notified about a, um, a message being added. And you can just quickly type in these commands to reassign issues to people. The other thing uh, that I added was uh, an integration with the change requests. So if you go and look at changes,
then this one here, let's pick this one, uh, install new Cisco. So let's copy that change number and then um, if we know that there's a change request then we can approve it on, on Slack like that. So this is basically works bidirectional. And that's been approved, so yeah, that's that's the demo.